<laughs> what's going on everybody thanks for taking a couple minutes to check out my channel it's the 9th of february not the typical time of the year to be doing beekeeping and making beekeeping videos but it has warmed up to 46 degrees today and it must even feel pretty warm to these girls because they are out and about they're probably some of the little black dots here they're dragging out their dead and stuff but it's really good to see them all all three of these are all pretty active that hive over there was the strongest they had plenty of honey stores these two were this one on the far left was the weakest and then this one was pretty weak too but i'm going to go in there and try to feed them today i've got some internal feeders in here so i'm going to set set the camera up and i'm going to see how well this goes i don't want to, to disturb them too much i'm going to try to be slow and deliberate and see if i can get a little bit of sugar water into their internal feeders and help them get through the last uh, few weeks of winter and then start feeding them some pollen patties pretty soon i'm going to get some of those made up for the next warm spell i'm going to try this one first nice and slowly Nice little cluster of bead looking right here. If I can just slide this over without getting too riled up. Nice and gently expose this feeder. Right here is my internal feeder. Hopefully that's in view a little bit. Got some sugar water here. That feeder holds a gallon. Okay, there's one here bothering me a little bit. That went okay. I'm going to go get another dose of sugar water. Alrighty. That went pretty well. I, I'm making up some, I got to make up some pollen patties. And that's it. I'm going to move over to this one. This one's going to be a little more challenging because my feeder is in this box. i got to slide this whole top box a little bit. Okay, no craziness there. There's the feeder exposed. Go get some sugar water for him. That's a wrap.
Right or wrong, I did it. Okay, so I don't think I disturbed them too bad. They didn't come going crazy and bananas and everything, which is good. They still have a nice little cluster in there. Will this help them? I don't know. I've never done this before trying to feed them at this time of year. This one, you can see where they've drug out all the dead bees here. They just, that, that's, that just happened. That's part of it. They die through the winter. And hopefully you get through with the good cluster and the queen starts laying early. This girl's a little too curious here. Go back home. I'm trying to do my outro. Oh, just don't sting me. Okay, once again, thanks for taking a couple minutes to check out my video. If you're new here and you enjoyed this, maybe you could take a second to give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Uh, the next time I get into my bees, hopefully I'll be putting some pollen patties in there. The very next warm-up we get, I'm going to try doing that. And trying to get my bees boosted up for spring. And hopefully getting a spring honey flow. Thanks again for tuning in. Hope you all have a blessed day.